Hi, in this we learn how to make a Nigerian banquet from a Rex dress in Illustrator, like in the 2D form. So uh, I opened already a uh, Illustrator software. So this is an interface. Now I'm going to uh, show you the reference what exactly we are making in 2D form. So I have to be uh, go to on my location so you can see how i can go file open and this is my reference picture so this i have to be make into 2d form so you can understand like how you can proceed your uh, fashion design layout your dressing concepts you can work on it so this is my mannequin also in 2d sketch form so i'm going to both of them to uh, have a look of the reference from other side and to work on the mannequin so you can understand how you can use the software to make your idea to be uh, you know make it more illustrations in adobe illustrator so this is our first uh, step in production house you have to be sketch a mannequin and then you have to uh, make a dress layout how the dress your ideas to become over there now i want to be cropped this so i want to be uh, the space size of the canva where i can work on this dress so i work like this then okay then click so it's confirmed with that now i want to use this layer also because the layer is very important to working uh, the different different layouts to be in different uh, you know different layers so i lock this so it not move go for the new layer so every layer has to describe the every each elements so whenever you want to be hide you hide whenever you want to lock you can lock that so this lock you can lock this unlock so you can double click on layer you can change the name of the layer particular so you can be recognized for what is the element to be inside the particular layer now we start with the pen tool because the pen tool is very uh, before i want to be work on the fill swap it so none of up fill now go for the stroke of this so the pen tool is a very uh, unique or very uh, important uh, tool of uh, 2D softwares like illustration base because with the pen tool you can make uh, any form shapes with this using this tool. So I'm going to click and the next click and drag. So why I'm dragging because I need a curve. Next click, drag. Next click. So you can perform the click also wherever you don't need a curve. So click drag, don't leave the mouse. So you give the handle of two, close that. So you need to be close the shape so you can perform uh, colors and fill the complete shape. Now use the direct selection, change these anchor points to, to change the form of uh, your shapes. So this is an adjusting the curve. You can use the handles also. The handles move, you can. Then I'm going to uh, this line. Now I'm going to the pen tool again to make a inside shape. Then click and drag. You get a curve. Break this. And the next click. 
but before that i need to be these actually i'm going to making the wrinkles by using the pan tool as you see in the image or the fold edges again again you have to click because otherwise get to continue so just leave the line and click over there so you can work on the next line also these are the pencil tool you can freehand to design also if you are good with the pen tool otherwise you can use the pencil tool it's freehand you just click and drag yeah you can do undo also control z if you don't like so these are the fold angles you can say or the wrinkles on the trim turban now you can use the pen tool to make the other uh, dress shape so click and drag you have to be little bit close to the body edges so you click and drag don't leave the mouse while dragging click so when you single click and then drag you get the curve so your uh, shape should be precisely to work on the edges of the shape which used in uh, illustrations so i break this tangent point and then click and drag that you can break this then again click and drag you get the curve and then again to go up and click drag and you break that and then go up and then close that you have to close this curve with this now you can use the direct selection to move this down because it's cover the half of the neck from the up then you select and drag you work on the a curve same thing from this side also that's it after that then you have to go for the sleeve so click and then click on the arm to get the sleeve drag this don't leave uh, when you complete the you know the final curve then we click the we have to just think like there is in reference if you see the half of the uh, sleeve and then below there is a, a thrill over there so we have to be click over there break this then you can define your curve 
so according to that you have to close to fix it and close this shape you have to close where you have to start that point you have to click so the shape get closed now you have to go the second one also So I just alt and drag. You know, I'm just selecting the first shape and alt and drag. So you can get the copy of that also. But I want to be make click and drag. Break this. there you have also a click so you can perform the curve you have to go uh, exactly the edges of the what you make the shapes actually I make the neck area so according to that edges I have to go my curve so it gets to be very close to the my uh, sleeve with that at the same way i made the vest also now you go for the top bottom only the pen tool you can help it you just click next click even drag for the curve otherwise next click and then come to that where you start the point close that so you get the complete shape so here i'm going to the bottom part every dress pattern I make it in separate because if you see in reference the top textures and the bottom textures it's not seam it's totally change next click and drag because I need a curve have to again click on the last and the next click and little bit curve break this then go up you can use the space bar and left click drag otherwise I'm using the scroll of the mouse middle button Then you have again click over there. Then I break that and you can close that like this. I use the direct selection to handle that change to forming that curve. With the dress so this we are done you can adjust the handle with the direct selection so forming the uh, best shape of your dress layout now I can use can save that Now space bar and left click drag so you can pan the page. Again I'm going to new layer. I have last one I block that. Then I go this below the seam swell. Same it it's need like click.
click next click drag wherever you need a curve then you have closed that so this one we done the first curve and now we have to be unlock the layer to make the color fill so I'm selecting these lines to make it soft so as you see in the reference there is like fold edges shadows or depth you can say so I select go to the filter and say the Gaussian blur and I preview on so as you see it's become very soft depth folding to each other again I'm selecting one by one a line this I want to be a fillet with black and then I'm going to give them a blur option so I go to effect I go to blur Gaussian blur you can see the preview on as much as you can uh, adjust the radius in Gaussian blur otherwise okay same as to uh, one by one each wrinkles four lines to be give the Gaussian blur for soft depth then little bit opacity to be down so it's less shadow effect same blur Gaussian blur you can adjust the radius according to you after that I'm going to the pen tool to make a forehead scarf, click and drag. Then you again click and you can drag you, so you can get the curve for the forehead. And you have to close this curve. You go back to and drag that. If you leave then you go for direct selection tool to adjust this anchor point handle. Then you select this. Then go to the eyedropper click the, the reference color and you once you select and use the eyedropper and select the reference color. So you have to go with that eyedropper, select the reference color and click the fill over there. You get the fill color. So after filling all the shapes, now I'm going to uh, fill the textures on my dress layout, which is top and the bottom. So I done like select the shape eyedropper take the reference color and click the fill the color you see that before 
Then I'm going to go for the texture filling. Control plus Control minus for zoom and zoom out. So I'm taking the my uh, texture uh, image so I can fill that into the dress layout. Now this is the bottom dress layout and which I make the top. So I'm going to file and say the place. This is my reference image of the textures. I used to small that. So I can just adjust the size around the dress layout. So it has to be look a uh, great. So that's why I want to be small and scale and arrange that. So you can uh, you can do any rotate or scale something like how your texture would nice to be look in that uh, dress layout shape. I try to be a uh, small scale little bit from one side so it look, has to be look nice so I'm just place over there. I have to be overlap the shape you know. You have to overlap the shape of dress or uh, layout so we can just fix that much only overlapping the dress layout can scale a little bit little bit more yes now after overlapping and uh, fix the size around the scale or rotate something how it has to be look nice now you have to be uh, select the above shape and the below the texture with shift and right click clip mask you can turn this so in this you have to be understand your shape layout of your dress it should be above and the overlapping the texture both of them you have to select with shift and right click and you can do the clip mask so we done this as textures to be placed inside the dress layouts so thank you if you have any queries you can mail us a online training.com so this we done this